but you have to let them be themselves. And in such a stressful and a very competitive world, we push our children to do and to be their very best. I know all the parents, you're pushing your children, you're pushing your children, you're pushing your children to do their best and to be their best. But while we're pushing, we often push them into things that don't align with who they are. We have to make sure that where we're pushing, it aligns with who they are in their personality, who they are in their character, who they are in their gifting, who they are in their calling, who they are in who God has made them to be. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, you know the passage. The Bible says, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. So the Bible tells us that we should start children off in the way that they should go. Now, I know what you're thinking. Because immediately when you read that passage of scripture, the first thing and the only thing that you think about is, yes, we're supposed to start children out like we started Stephen Clay this morning. We start him out in church, even though he was snoring. We start him out in biblical things. We start them out spiritually. We grow them up in the things of God. We grow them up in the kingdom of God. We grow them up in spiritual principles. Yes. But that's not the totality of what that verse says. That's a part of it and a good part of it. But there's more. The idea here is that you and I must understand as parents, we must understand our children well enough to identify and embrace their uniqueness and their individuality. There is a uniqueness and an individuality to your child. And our job is to recognize it and to launch them in an area that is a, a particular area of life for success and well-being for them that aligns and matches who they are. You know, if your kid doesn't like to read, don't try to force him to be a lawyer. He doesn't like to read. Oh, yeah, but I want him to be a lawyer. I want him to be successful. I want to make a lot of money. Well, he's not going to be a successful lawyer. Because he don't like to read. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of law books. It's a lot of books. It's a lot of studying. It's a lot of testing. But he doesn't like to read. We must push them in the area that they are aligned. And I have to say, unfortunately, in our world today, many people are too worried about the externals of our children. What do I mean by externals? Oh, they're getting so big. They're bigger than me. Look at that. They're so big. They're bigger than me. Oh, oh, they're so smart that they're smarter than me when, they, when I was that age. Or, oh, they're so handsome and they're so pretty. They're so cute. They're the best looking people in the family. And all those things are nice. And we all get excited when, when our kids tell us that they want to be a doctor or they want to be a lawyer, they want to be CEO or they want to be a star of a football team or a basketball team. And, you know, dads, we're out there and we're prepping them. You know, they're two years old. They can't even hold the ball. And we're trying to make them make a hoop. You know, we're trying to make them make a hoop because he's going to be a basketball star. Yeah, he's only two now, but give him 20 years. He's going to be basketball. And all that's great and all that's good and it's nice and you video it and you keep it in your logs and the whole nine yards. But let me share with you something that I've learned from being a parent almost three decades now. We'll go out of our way and we'll send them to special schools and we'll send them to special camps and we'll get them special training and we'll get them exposure. We'll change our schedules. We'll stay up late at night and we'll get up early in the morning and we'll spend lots of money for tools and equipment to posture our kids where we want them to be. But how would it look if we took all that effort and all that energy and all that money and all that push and postured them in a spiritual place to ensure that they have an authentic relationship with Jesus Christ? How would it look? And it's great for you to desire for your son to be a doctor or your daughter to be a lawyer or to, be, to climb the corporate ladder and to do well and to be successful financially. But all of that comes to a crashing halt if your child does not know and serve the Lord Jesus Christ.